Off Grid Entrepreneur by Matthew Huxley Forrest. Gain financial and geographic freedom. Become a digital nomad. Introduction to The Great Escape. I always remember a line from the autobiography by Phoenix Dennis, the publishing billionaire, that paraphrased read something like, Forget all the other books about how to become super rich. None of the other writers are super rich. I am. Therefore, you can rest assured my advice is best. A pretty arrogant, if not truthful, statement. He did admit, however, that wealth and happiness do not correlate so well. And as I have learned, impact bias, the inability of humans to project into the future and predict how they will feel when certain situations actually arise, demonstrates this at a scientific level. Likewise, focus illusion, believing that singular ingredients such as love or money that help contribute to happiness and fulfilment can work in isolation, also provides a bum steer when it comes to happiness achievement. This is not a book about happiness, but it is a theme that arises a lot in the book. After all, what is the point of escaping the rat race if you are no better off than before the escape? I think the feeling of freedom and constantly encountering new people, cultures and experiences has more of a chance than wealth accumulation at increasing your happiness set point. But who says you can't have your cake and eat it? The main point here is that knowledge transfer is best from people who have lived, breathed and practised what they preach. When it comes to being an off-grid entrepreneur, I certainly fit that bill. I have run many companies and done business with some of the biggest brands in the world. I have either entered licence agreements with and or had business involvements with the following brands. Manchester United, all the English and Scottish Premier League clubs, pop bands such as Westlife, Boys Own, Steps, Five as well as other blue chip companies such as Costa Coffee, CPLG PLC, Coca-Cola Enterprises, GlaxoSmithKline, the LucasAid sport brand, Sony, the PlayStation brand, and Kenwood to name but a few. I have also had the toys such as the Aston Martin DB7 Vantage Volante and the big house which many budding entrepreneurs aspire to. However, I will be the first to admit that experience trumps material objects, and having an off-grid lifestyle is worth a thousand Aston Martins, even though they're still pretty cool. I have not mentioned this to impress you, but to impress upon you that all of this and more is possible. My journey into intellectual property rights, IPR, and the potential for passive income began when I invented a product for Disney as a teenager. Given the high cost of IPR lawyers, I learned to write or co-write legal agreements such as non-disclosure agreements. I have also written record label agreements, management contracts, assignment of rights agreements and licences. I have even dealt directly with the Intellectual Property Office in regard to registering registered designs and patent applications. This know-how and build-up of editable agreements is invaluable for a digital nomad. When you purchase my book via an official source, hopefully you already have and this is how you've come to be reading this, you will be given a code that will provide you with access to many of these. This will probably put me at the top of the law community's wanted list as they would charge you many thousands of pounds for similar ones that they would draft for you. This means not only do you get a blueprint to becoming a better digital entrepreneur for the price of a book, you also get many thousands of pounds worth of my work to use yourself. The document bonuses also include a recent innovation of mine called Fair Cop, It is a system that allows you to formally register copyright without the crude, post the material to yourself sealed and unopened method, and avoids the high cost of the notarised assertion of copyright method that involves a notary keeping copies of the material, including a sealed copy. It seems a combination of discontentment with people's own countries, poor work-life balance, mundane careers, and an increased wonderlust amongst the masses is driving a growth in digital nomadism. Becoming an off-grid entrepreneur is not as hard as many 9-to-5 wage slave jockeys probably imagine, but it is also far from easy. What is apparent is that the trend will continue to grow. The economic evolution has devalued commodities such as food production and food services. However, the value of intellectual property is on the rise, and this is a key ingredient in the life of many off-grid entrepreneurs. In fact, what you are reading right now is a perfect example. Once sweat equity is invested, as long as the material is well marketed, it provides passive income. 
and this is one of the best possible income streams in the life of an off-grid entrepreneur. It is the holy grail. Not every piece of developed intellectual property will result in a significant passive income, and so this is not the only way to fund this lifestyle. But I believe that it is the best method in the longer term as it separates the money-making aspect from the beneficiary. In other words, it provides freedom for the person receiving royalties. To be an off-grid entrepreneur, you either have to have skills that travel with you, skills that benefit people who are in a different geographical location, or skills that build intellectual property that can be sold. A key source of income for the latter method is not called a royalty for no reason. Like royalty, you get to sit back and earn money while enjoying a life of leisure. I have had many years of experience working with more traditional business models and there is no difference in the fundamentals. It's still all about product price, promotion and place. It's still all about fulfilling human needs and pampering to the pain pleasure axis of human nature. A strong focus on intellectual property rights is perhaps the only key difference but then all the big brands you know have been aware of this for many centuries. Coca-Cola is caramelised sugar and carbonated water, but the company knows all about the benefits and value of trademark registration, registered designs, passing off and other elements of intellectual property rights. It takes balls to step out and turn your back on social convention, but it takes bigger balls to spend a whole life doing what you hate in order to chase the freedom that never comes. It's not even as if people don't sense this wasted time and only come to regret it in hindsight. Too many people die at age 25 and get buried at age 75. As well as featuring some of my round the world photography, I have included a number of video clips in the book that serve both as motivational tools as well as giving a flavour of the life of an off-grid entrepreneur. The first couple are fitting in their themes. The latter one was filmed and edited by fellow off-grid entrepreneur Harry Russell, although I've been to all the locations and was present at much of the filming. You can see the links on the Facebook page Off-Grid Entrepreneur. You must have something to offer though, some concept, some skill, some means to add value and to be remunerated for this. It is risky to try and blag your way around the globe, and I would highly recommend that you feel confident that you can generate some form of income before taking the plunge. But don't worry, there are thousands of ways and you can engage in more menial off-grid roles as you hone your entrepreneurial skills. A close friend of mine has taken such a risk and lived a number of years off-grid without any prior training or special skills and he has survived. And he would be the first to admit that he could not have lived a UK 9-to-5 life and so his hand was effectively forced. He had nothing to lose. He happens to be one of the music producers for my record label and so I have a vested interest in him making it in accordance with the philosophies of this book. In the meantime, he has to endure quite a bumpy ride. The Real Secret When it comes to the law of attraction, universal consciousness and the like, I have an open mind. I am sceptical but given that science cannot begin to explain what reality itself is and how it spontaneously came into existence along with time, matter and preset rules that ultimately allowed the universe to sense itself through sentient beings, namely us, then the possibility of other unexplained forces seem feasible. But it is more reliable to recognise that we live in a cause and effect universe. And so when intelligent and directed effort is invested then positive outcomes are more likely. God's dice, read luck, play a huge part too, of course. But as the golfer Arnold Palmer said, the more I practice, the luckier I get. Clearly, he was being ironic and meant that those who have followed the 10,000 hour rule in a specialised area have a shot of being an expert or possibly the best in their field. Whether or not there is some metaphysical aspect that comes into play to support your ambitions once you start a project or business is irrelevant. The more rational explanation is that you become more focused on related issues, available support and all the ingredients required for the business once it is at the forefront of your mind. The less spiritually inclined among you may instantly reject the possibility that the universe conspires to support those who take the plunge, but very successful businessmen like Simon Woodruff of Yo Sushi and Dragon's Den are amongst the millions of believers. Even if the universe does not assure that he who dares wins due to supernatural means, you certainly have to be in it to win it. 
Of course, the evolution of the mind has led to focused attention and the filtering of noise. And as such, when a venture is at the forefront of your mind, it is not surprising that relevant information, for example on the radio or TV, can jump out and add to your knowledge. Thank you for your time in listening to Off Grid Entrepreneur and I hope it inspires you to take more positive steps towards living life to the full. The complete book will be available later this year with all the details of how to live off grid and achieve your dream life.